freshwater lobsters at this majestic lake, a sailing community in Tambobo Bay, and great overlooking views from my cottage. Chaton really has so much to offer. Good morning from Chaton. We're just down the coast in Dumaguete. This is where I stayed. Very, very nice little cabin that Brian, who I'll introduce you to in a while, and his guys built. Bamboo frame, lashed, bolted, and really nice and spacey inside. This is, this is cool. We're just gonna go up and explore a few of the areas around here. Outdoor shower, actually pretty cool. I need to unplug the water heater. I forgot to do that. Let's roll. <laughs> Five minutes ride away is Tambobo Bay, a collection of yachts from around the world. This guy, look at him, he's got his tail bitten off. Oh yeah? They're cannibals. Yeah. They might Ah, oh, they're by the mangoes. So not gonna try not to break the deck. This is Tambobo Bay. And this is a real big yachting community. And over here we got a boat from Darwin where I lived for one and a half years, out in Australia, on the northern side. And this is cool, it's another side of life, you know? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go on one of the boats today, but the view from the edge was majestic. Yeah, this little place is right out on the bay itself. This is, this is an old mast. Metal, everything, all still here. I can't do the Pirates of the Caribbean impression like you did. Oh, film yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm going to do it, am I? All right, all right. Ah, ah, I, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> you did are it better you, than me. Are you scurvy dog? That's right, you scurvy dog. I can't do it as well as you did. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to. <laughs> Brian also knew an Australian boat builder who's been living nearby for many years. But on the way, we found this. This is a Spanish, I think it was a Spanish nunnery where the nuns used to stay. Oh wow, okay. Just here beside the road, an old Spanish nunnery. Very interesting. Posts, wow. Random stuff that's just there. These posts are solid, eh? Very interesting place. Cold yeah. pieces in here as, as well, cut out of bedrock from the beach. Apparently the um, cuppery hangs around up in that tree there and sits on top of that pillar okay. and smokes his cigarette. The locals have seen the cuppery up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at this signboard and see. Does it say anything on either side? There's nothing at the back. I don't know, at the back it's a, it's a tree and some, yeah okay, tree and some dirt and behind me there's a goat. And the kid. Oh. 10 peso and 25 peso. <laughs> Commercial photo shoots. For educational 500 photo and shoot. above. Free entrance. So. Just. <laughs> You're an educational, um, you know, do an educational. Oh, so. oh, this is education. Yeah, okay, no problem. I'm not doing a pre enough. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm fine. I'm good. Bon bon on, bon bon on convent. I'm allowed in, except I don't have permission, but. Oh no, I don't have permission. Hello! That's probably one of Nigel's uh, catamarans that he builds. Blooming huge! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Wow, just beside the road. <laughs> just right past these massive boats. Oh, there's another one in there. A few more there. That's all fiberglass. Wow. Beautiful boats. calls himself Tonga. Tonga, Tonga, yeah, sailing. Free entry. Free food and drinks. <laughs> he's a funny old fellow. He's uh like he says these aren't they're not they're not cabins, they're palaces. Palaces and I just noticed the sign. Entrance fee. Free. Exit fee one million. So we ran away without paying towards the mountains. Really good quality work, you know. That's the road to Chaton. Yeah. This is also the road to Chaton. Okay. But, but this is the um, coastal 
that yeah. case for Ray. We'll go this way, it's a bit more scenic. Oh wow, that is nice. Beautiful. The road here is mostly in good condition, but some sections are still unpaved. You got the right one for it. <laughs> Mine will work, it'll manage. Yeah. Here we go, here's the real test now. But that oggy, that oggy oggy. Yeah, let's go up here, that's, oh, don't like that. Oh. <laughs> Smash something on that, my brake pedal I think. That didn't last very long, but that's all right. This is manageable. Just got to be careful. It's just clearance. Clearance is the only thing that really makes the big difference here. But yeah, it was just when I had those two rocks with a small gap in between. Ah, same thing I did on my first ride. Bashed it, but it was fine. And at almost 300 metres above sea level, we reach the entrance of Lake Balanan. Hello, horses. Maybe we can do a, um, a horse ride mountain tour. <laughs> I did that once, the horse didn't like me. You unsure? I, 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 I don't even know if you'll be able to get through. Oh, yeah? So, um, Probably, I don't know. Let's, I'm going to watch you go through first, let's have a look. Just see how big. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't stop there, mate. I can just get through, so I don't think you will. He's washing it in there, I think I could have got mine through. Brilliant. Right, let's it's not far, let's wander around there. Oh uh, yeah, you probably could have but... From here, we can easily reach the shores of the majestic Lake Balaton, where there's a restaurant that serves what they call freshwater lobster, Ulang, which resembles crayfish. Are they frozen? Yes. Oh. You don't have fresh ones? What are fresh go? What are fresh? Fresh go. Fresh go, oh, oh. Frozen lang. I oh, oh, sing, sing. Look at that. What's that? 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 Beautifully built restaurant as well. Welcome to Lake Balanan. Yes, I just had to look at the sign so I remember what it's called. Lake Balanan is this really beautiful lake in between the mountains, and this is somewhere near the outlet. So, what I just trudged through, that's, that is the outlet. And we're gonna go around the lake after lunch. Might have ordered a bit too much. Usual problem for me. <laughs> but these these lobsters, they look kind of like shrimp, but they're lobsters. So that's what they're called. Oolang. And then we have the halang halang looks like it's cooked in coconut milk, which means it's gonna be really, really good because I love coconut milk. It's the best thing in the world. Freshwater lobsters. Oh, they are, they are actually in form. They're lobsters. <laughs> That's gourmet plating, mate. Right? Yeah, gourmet plating. <laughs> it is a lot of work, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm spraying myself in the face. And the Olang has some of the sweetness of lobster too. They're tasty. They got a lot of flavor. They're, they're just tiny lobsters. That's how big they grow. Fresh water. Fresh water. Stuff from fresh water doesn't grow so much. Oh, Generally, yeah. there's a lizard to come to see us. That's another massive one behind there. Like this one here that's just taken out 
uprooted and floated here during Odette. I really wonder how high the water got. Nice little bank as we're going to take a little wander around the side. It's a nice walk uh, along yeah. the um, water. It's a pretty cool old walkway though. <laughs> Even if it is very dark. That's a good tree to build a tree house in. <laughs> it does that. That's where I live. <laughs> That's grown into the rock. Yeah, wow. And trudging along, we found our first obstacle. It's right at the top, eh? Yeah. So usually you go down, down there, and you're standing there pulling it in. And um, why am I doing this? I should be filming you, and you should be. <laughs> How did I get conged into this? I think that's as far as it goes. You got to change up little. Boat. Shall we steal the boat? We've worked out the problem. If you can see that knot, you can't get that past the hole. So it's stuck. Mission failed. Let's let's do something else. This isn't gonna work. Oh wait a minute, you got the knot through the hole. Yeah. You done it. We might get trapped over there though. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. The question is <laughs> Will it hold your weight? <laughs> Will it hold me? It looks a bit that odd, but <laughs> I think we might be all right. Which meant it was my turn to do the hard work. We're nearly there. Still going, still going, still going, still going, still going, still going. Still going. Ah. <laughs> oh my <goodness. laughs> there we go. <laughs> mush, mush. Harder. Fuck it up. Made it. Now to walk all the way to the waterfalls. Oh, there's an issue. Now we've come all the way across here. Oh, okay, no, that's, that's manageable. <laughs> okay, the lake is very high. I think this is the one. It's just water's high, eh? Oh, equalizing your boots. Yeah, now I've got the left one. Yeah. Seems to be getting obstacle after obstacle. You know, it's like, what, what's it trying it's to like tell us? It's like somewhere, yeah. Is this trying to tell us something? Yeah, that is quite a crater. See this here? Yeah, we're going the right way. Yeah, but look what it says. Oh, 50 meters. It's bullshit. More like a kilometer. Yeah, this looks pretty fresh, eh? Waterfalls, 50 meters. You can manage it. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm causing erosion, destroying nature. Again, that aren't good. And just up the river, we're almost there. We're going the right, right way. 50 meters. It's always 50 meters away. This is the drought flower, so when there's no water around and you need water, you get your water. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't fancy it, eh? Oh, look at all the water. Yeah, that's not accessible. This is, wow. Yeah, beautiful. And then we had to go back. My cap on. Of Tarzan. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that worked, that worked. It's been good, so let's go back down. And I'll show you where I've been staying because I forgot about that. And we're back on the concrete.
and we're back. Time for dinner. This one, I'm going to mascara in Bacolod, and this camera has a few of the buttons aren't working. One of them, the movie record button, and the other one that fixes the ISO. And so the ISO is stuck at 400. The movie record button doesn't work. The dogs don't like it either. I'm really hoping I don't, I don't know what's happened to it. Oh dear me. And then, right, yeah, okay. I come back here. I'm gonna do this on this camera because I like your setup there. That's, uh, that comes from here. Oh boy. From one of the trees behind. And it's made this shape, which is incredibly manly in color. It nearly matches the color of your shirt. Yeah, it does as well. Mm. It's really good, huh? Mm -mm. I don't know how to describe that at all, so I'm just going to say it's good. <laughs> you got no choice. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll strangle you. <laughs> True story. I'm held hostage. And last up, a real taste of home. This is Leah, by the way. This is... Hello, this is... I almost forgot your name, Ryan's wife. <laughs> I've only been up in the mountains with you all day. <laughs> and I thought my memory card had gone kaput. It hasn't, thankfully, so I've only got one thing going wrong. Cameras, ah, technology, ah, I don't like technology. Fish and chips, this is going to make the evening very, very, very good. Is some of this from your garden? Some Maybe. of it. We have a bunch of subsidian bell pepper. Ah, nice. Tomato. You grow your lemons? Yeah. Lemons. Yeah. I was meant to... I don't know why I'm sniffing lemon. I'm going mad. I was meant to come back earlier and do something more, but that didn't happen. So tomorrow morning before I leave, it's going to happen. I don't know. That ought ending because that's what's happening right now. It was a big day. It was. I blame you for that. Yeah, well, we went... I've got to back a lot tomorrow, and then I'm going to sleep. Not before. Bye bye. And hopefully my cameras are gonna work. I don't know. Bye.